Labor Director De La Sola made the stunning announcement Wednesday that those who are working reduced hours are no longer qualified for PUA, and he's sticking with that. From the guidance that I have and from what I heard, they do not qualify. I am also asking to try to get direct, directly to D.C. to explain to me why they're not, what was the change. And I did ask the congressman to do the same. In a hastily called news conference yesterday, Congressman Michael Sanicola said the new law passed December 30th made no changes to the PUA program, and he speculates it must be an administrative change that needs to be corrected. De La Sola says he's just following the most recent guidance over the weekend that explicitly excludes those working reduced hours. Is their money that they gave me, is their program that I'm implementing, it's their instructions that I follow. And um, I hope that he can get somewhere and get a change. I don't care where it gets changed because I would love it for our people to get back qualified again. But until it's changed, De La Sola says he could not in good conscience not advise the thousands of reduced hour workers of the implications of the new guidance. As far as he knows, if they were to claim and receive additional payments, they'd be liable for paying it all back. This is what I'm doing, turning on the system. I'm going to pay those who are unemployed. They need the money now. They have no work. Tell the people with reduced hours not to file according to the guidance. They're saying that they're not qualified, and I'll confirm it and circle around it uh, next week whenever I can get through to them. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.